What's up, Gorals? We got emergency room update plus weight loss update. I'm not here to waste time. Let's go. Hey guys, so if you watched our last vlog, you know that I went to the ER yesterday. Not exactly yesterday, but you guys know. Like a month and a half ago. Nothing. They le I left without a diagnosis or anything. Like literally nothing. And I woke up today even worse. And if you didn't watch that last vlog, the last three days I've- Like three or four vlogs ago been having belly button like navel uh stomach pain but it's not like inside my stomach it's the outside it hurts mainly when i bend i woke up today and now i'm bleeding out of my belly button yeah i mean i i know this isn't new information but that is so gross so something is obviously not right i was gonna see my actual Good, doctor true. but not i right. kind of can't because it's the weekend and the ER yesterday said if I get any worse to go back to the ER, but I'm not going back to that ER because they just seem very nonchalant. So I'm going to go to a different one. I'm just really nervous. Now, I have no reason to not believe her about the way that ER was acting since she is going through all the trouble of going to another hospital, presumably further away. But if she really did go to the ER and they didn't like figure out what was wrong, that's pretty weird. Like, it, this isn't a Civil War battlefield, you know? You don't just, like, bring a person in who's bleeding, patch them up, and, like, push them back out, you know? And if that's what they did to her, that's, that is kind of messed up. I'll give her credit for that one. And I just hope nothing's, like, really wrong. Alrighty, so... Your belly button is... Belly button. Your belly button is bleeding. Something is definitely wrong. Oh, in the car, Becky had to go get something out of the house. <laughs> So she's gonna go do that and then we're off to the appointment. This hospital is about an hour and a half away. Not really looking forward to the car drive, car drive, car ride, <laughs> but I mean, some days I'm cool with it. Other days my anxiety is so high that I just can't stand being in a car. Oh, now we have car anxiety to go along with the phone anxiety. You didn't seem to have so much car anxiety on the two-hour trip to Lexington. Car, that's kind of where I'm at right now, but my health is more important. Important. I'm a mess. <laughs> uh, I, I'm, I'm not laughing at her being a mess. That just really, that really got me. Like, the whole delivery of that was really funny. Just the honesty of it and her realizing that it, it was true and just, like, just sinking into that. It was just really funny to me. Sorry, we're back to the video. I think what makes this... <laughs> laughable is the fact that my actual hair touches the roof of the car see the situation is i'm in pain i feel the pain mainly when i'm bending or like kind of shifting if that makes sense but as i'm sitting moving. here i feel no pain at all so it's like i don't feel nauseous i don't feel anything like that You're like i moving. feel like i'm in a good mood but then i move just a little bit or I remember that my actual belly button is bleeding and I'm like, oh, oh yeah, that's going on. So we have been at the hospital. Well, I mean, that is self-awareness, which is usually not present in these videos. So that's something. Hospital for literally 10 minutes. We've already seen a nurse and a doctor. This hospital, ER, way better. Why'd you put ER in quotes? It is the ER. Than the one I went to yesterday. Like they have been on top of it love it <laughs> but um yeah i'll have to update you guys on everything um when i leave because i feel weird filming here but look at becky over there i'm on this bed situation so you can just say bed it's just a bed situation not necessary it is in fact a bed so I just got home. I'm just sitting outside. My purse is weirdly around my neck. Don't mind that. I'm just, <laughs> it's like, I don't care. So I got seen pretty freaking quickly at the hospital, which was pretty nice. It was weird because they didn't take my blood. I didn't have to pee in a cup. Ooh, the wind. If you guys can't hear me over the wind, I'm very sorry. Um, if you think there's a chance we can't hear you over the wind, don't film in the wind. It's just like the lighting situation. It's just like, I use situation appropriately, by the way. Uh, it, it, just like the lighting situation, just like your hair being messy because you just woke up, uh, just like, you know, any number of the things from the list that you constantly apologize for, the fan noise, like, 
Sorry if you can't hear me over the fan. How about turn the fan off? How about YouTube is your job? How about do your job better? Hey, what's that guy in the background doing? I wonder what he's up to. It just like comes and goes. But yeah, I didn't have to do anything like that. You know, the nurse came in, looked at my belly button. Then almost immediately after the doctor did and he cleaned it up. I didn't realize actually how bad it was bleeding until... Wait a minute. What do you mean you didn't realize how bad it was bleeding? Like, so you, all right, so you like discovered that your belly button was bleeding. Okay, we can start there. That's already pretty bizarre, right? Um, at that point, you don't then like investigate a little bit. You don't like grab a mirror, sneak a peek, try and get a little bit more of a handle on the situation. Maybe try and figure out to what extent you're bleeding out of an orifice that usually does literally nothing. All right, fine. I can accept that. Continue with your story. Well, you know, he was cleaning it and I was just like, wow. He swabbed it, you know, all, all that sort of stuff. But I feel like things are still just kind of up in the air. He came back and he told me it might be an infection. Like nothing is like for sure. He's like, it might be an infection. And he said, it might be something that needs to be surgically fixed. And I was just like, what? <laughs> I don't know. So he put me on two antibiotics. Right, because it is an infection. So he gave you antibiotics. And one is atopical and the other one is oral. And I have to do the oral three times a day. And I have to do the other one two times a day. So that was a pretty penny. So on top. It was a pretty penny because you don't have health insurance. You have a MacBook that you use to kind of do reaction videos with by just pointing the camera, which PS, not really a camera, it's your phone, you film with your phone now. Uh, the two iPhone 10s that you bought, the, the camera that you bought, uh, but you don't have health insurance, something that would have made those two antibiotics, in fact, not a pretty penny. Off of that, I am like so confused because then another woman comes back and she hands me because you know how like when you leave a hospital they give you like papers on what your diagnosis right? is she came back with papers about cellulitis and i was just like that makes sense okay that's weird and she explained you know he's just giving you this just in case this is what it is and i'm just like okay like i know from experience everything about cellulitis because i've had it twice it was both times in high school, the second time I actually was hospitalized because I was like literally on the verge of death. It was one of the most scarier times of my life. Yeah, um, some people may not know this. Cellulitis can actually kill you. Now, it, it is a skin infection, which is almost certainly what this belly button thing is. Uh, but the bacteria that causes the infection can then work its way into your bloodstream and in fact kill you. Like it can give you high fevers, it can get to your brain, you could actually die from a skin infection, which you get from having bacteria on you from your skin not being clean. And to me, this doesn't really feel like cellulitis because before I couldn't eat, I couldn't even think straight. My, I had a fever that was like 105. That's when I was hospitalized. I had the chills and all that. And like, I was puking a lot, like it was bad. And I don't have any of that. Um, I guess there are certain situations where you don't get all that with cellulitis, but the two times I have had it. That time was actually using situation just fine. That has been, you know, what happened. And I don't know, but you know, today's Sunday, tomorrow's Monday, I'm Monday. God, I can't even talk. Tomorrow's Monday. As soon as it's Monday, like literally I am going to call my doctor's office, make an appointment for as early as possible as soon as possible and hopefully get this figured out because this is just a lot like it's still very up in the air and i don't want anything super wrong to be there like i'm scared and i even becky's scared and it was so sad but on the way like when she was driving she started crying and i was just like babe what's wrong and she was just so worried about me that she just started crying and it was so random like we weren't even she was so worried about me so like she presents this like she's telling you 
an anecdote about what happened with Becky, but really the whole thing is Becky was crying because of how much she loves me, aren't I so great? Talking about anything, she just started crying. And I was just like, oh my gosh, like she's just really worried too. And you know, it is scary and it's just, this is kind of out of my control right now. I'm gonna take the antibiotics and do what is said of me. Ooh, the sun got cup. It's out of your control now but it wasn't before it happened. You are the cause of it. Covered by a cloud, you could probably tell the lighting switched up a little bit, but yeah, I'm just gonna do, you know, what is asked of me and that's the only thing I can do. And like Eric keeps telling me, breathe, just breathe, you know? And Very what nice. I keep telling myself is I, I can't change something that I can't change. Do you get what I'm saying? There is no reason to worry when there's literally nothing I can do to fix this, so. You can't just do nothing, let bad things happen, and then be like, oh, well, I can't fix it. It is what it is, you know, what's gonna happen is gonna happen. So, I just am gonna take my antibi antibiotics, I'm going to schedule my appointment with my doctor, and I'll keep you guys updated on the whole thing. As for now, the sun feels freaking great. My antibiotics, are actually being filled right now so I haven't taken them yet. I know there's actually quite a few antibiotics that you can't sit in the sun if you're taking them. So I'm taking the advantage and I'm sitting in the sun now because yeah, I know isn't that weird though? Like some antibiotics are like it literally says like on the thing, don't sit in the sun while taking this medicine. So weird. So <laughs> are you good? I'm What's going on? Are you good? Okay. Oh just like for a second I thought she had like pink eye but now i see she's crying we just watched a star is born i've been wanting to see it for the longest time but i knew what happened at the end because um someone spoiled it <laughs> i've never watched the other um <laughs> she's been wanting to see it forever like what could you not find the time was it hard to pencil in laying on your mattress on the floor and watching a movie in between all the other times you're laying on your mattress on the floor and watching a movie <laughs> the other versions so I didn't know but um holy crap that movie was amazing I'm crying like a baby that was such a good movie Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper everything like that was such an amazing movie I know this movie is such old news but since I just saw it like it's like news to me you know the, this isn't so much of a criticism I guess but the way she reacts to like pop culture -y things is so weird to me like she she describes everything as being everything and like i i almost think she believes that like the way she reacted to that james charles is that his name james charles james charles singing video like was so weird like that's just a youtube video of some dude who's on youtube like why are you losing your mind over it like you you look like you're witnessing a miracle and the way she's reacting to this like okay fine it's a good movie great but like I can I can even understand like crying at an emotional movie, but she is acting like this is a life changing event, and it's just so bizarre to me. Like I cannot empathize with that at all. Wow, that was incredible. Woo! So I wanted to actually sit here and give you guys a little update. I haven't talked about my weight like the hundred days. Of Her two biggest fans. Weighing in, that's like long gone i haven't talked about my weight i haven't talked about so 100 days of weighing in was long gone when this video was filmed like six weeks ago so for us now it is a, a, a distant past it's ancient history like what i've been eating really you know am i even on track or anything like that so i kind of wanted to talk a bit about that first of all i have not weighed myself since the last time I did my 100 days of weighing in, which was, uh, if, I, what, January God, 11th. Has it been like two weeks? I think it's been like two weeks. I don't know. As for my eating, I'm pretty much eating whatever I want. What? Like, I'm not binging though. And that feels so good. And I think I know the culprit for that. So I have some wisdom tooth situation going on where anytime I eat anything that's candy or ice cream or just like sweets in general, anything that's like sugary, I have a full-fledged 
toothache, all of these teeth, all of these teeth, like my whole head, this part of my nose, this part of my tongue, like my jaw up here, my jaw down here, my ear, everything hurts. It is Inscruciating. I want say to stand it. by this and say that's the worst pain I've ever felt in my life. Nah. So I have completely just stopped eating anything sweet. It has been hard. I will 100%. <laughs> so the solution to her binging was just to have debilitating oral pain. How, how great. So anyone out there who doesn't have any self-control, just get like a crippling injury or just horrible, horrible pain. And you too can avoid that which is killing you. It's great. It's it's a great plan. Percent say it has been torturous, but the longer I do it, the easier it gets. And I notice that it kind of takes away this like addiction to binging and like overeating. I don't really crave sweets anymore. And it honestly feels really good. Like I will sit here and say that until I'm blue in the face. It feels really good. I every night felt like I had to have tons of ice cream and candy. And it's like, I don't feel that way anymore. So this whole two situation is almost like a blessing in disguise. So I have decided that I'm just not gonna weigh myself until the morning of my weight loss doctor's appointment. And I'm going to vlog that because I wanna document it. Till then, I'm kinda just gonna eat what I want for breakfast, eat what I want for lunch, eat what I want for dinner. Color me shocked and i'm hoping i'm not going to be gaining weight from that because i've noticed i have actually been a lot <laughs> hope what a great weight loss plan Less swollen and that feels really good and it just feels good not to binge even becky like she's been complimenting me lately so much she's just like i'm so proud of you and i'm just like thank you that's another thing where she frames it like she's talking about Becky, but really she's complimenting herself. To feel not in control of your binges is terrifying, but to feel like you are in control and like you no longer like have that urge, which I'm sure it'll come back sometime, but as right now, it feels so good that I just can't even like wrap my head around it. It honestly feels great. So it's just been like a hot minute since I've like updated you guys on that. But yeah, my doctor's appointment is still coming. So don't worry about that. I have been anxiously waiting. I wish it was sooner because I'm just ready to do whatever he tells me to do. And I'm kind of scared because of- I highly doubt that, but we will see. It's like, what is he gonna tell me to do? I just feel like there's so many different like options and things for him to tell me. Mm, I'm scared, but this is a professional. This is a weight loss actual surgeon I'm gonna be seeing. So I'm just like, oh man. But anyways, I actually think I'm gonna end this video. I really just wanted to update you guys on that because I know a lot of people have been asking, which I understand. But anyways, I'm gonna end this vlog and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Oh, dumpster diving. Maybe I should watch that video next.